Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing devotion with me and mom. <laughs> Hi everybody, yes, it's devotion time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today we're doing always listen to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read and then we talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, it's based on Genesis 3. God put Adam and Eve in a beautiful garden called Eden, right? Yeah. It was a lovely place to live. God said to them, you can eat everything you find here, but there is one special tree. You may not eat the fruit growing on this tree. If you do, you will surely die, God said. One day, the evil devil disguised himself as a snake. He talked to Eve and told her terrible lies. He said, you can eat the fruit on this special tree. Can they? Really? No. That's what he told them. Could they? Could they eat it? No. What would happen if they ate it? They would... They, they would get kicked out of the garden and never be able to come back. <laughs> yeah. But what was God's words? Do not They eat will the... surely die. They will surely die. But I like that. He's already ahead of me. They'll get kicked out of the garden. Never come back. And it's true. That's what happened. Hey. And uh, he said, you can eat the fruit on the special tree. You will not die like God said you will. Was that true? No. Mm. Then Adam and Eve ate some fruit from the tree. God was very sad He's, when he saw that they had disobeyed him. What does disobeying mean? It means it's like when you do something wrong. Mm. It's like when you don't listen. Yeah. When you are told to do something and you do the opposite. Hey. That's disobedient. Disobeying. So I said disobedient. Disobedient. Mm -hmm. That's being disobedient. Right? As a result, they had to leave the Garden of Eden. Hmm? The part you said they got kicked out? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the story, Jonathan. Let's just read this last paragraph. Bad things happen when we don't listen to God. Luckily for us, Jesus made everything right again when he gave his life for us. Right. So, what were they told by God, Adam and Eve? Oh, you mean, what did God tell them yes. not to do? God told them not to eat the, fr the fruit because then they would die. Mm -hmm. But then, this... The devil that was disguised as a snake told them, you can eat the fruit and you won't die. But they listened to him and yeah. bad thing a bad thing happened yeah. to them. So what are we learning from this story of Adam and Eve? Not to disobey God mm -hmm. because bad things can happen. Bad things happen when we disobey, mm -hmm. when we don't listen, right? What example can we give in real life now? What example can we give in real life? Uh, we can also say, if I wanted to swim, yeah, but you said no. <laughs> Why would I say no? Because it might be too cold to swim. Mm-hmm. And if you swim when it's too cold, you can also get a cold. Yeah, it's not good for you can get sick, right? So what would what what if 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 you wanted to swim, like you said, and mommy said no because the weather's not good for swimming. And, and I and I jump in, I can also get sick. Uh huh. So what does it mean when you decide to swim regardless? Does it mean you are being obedient or disobedient? Mm. Disobedient, right? You are not mm -hmm. listening. You are doing what is wrong. Yeah. 
and what would what and then if you do swim and and and, and what would be the bad thing that happens then? I can, I can catch a cold or something else. Yeah. So good example, Jonathan. Give me five for that. <laughs> so it's true. Bad things do happen when we don't listen. Bad things do happen when we don't listen. So let's say you did decide to jump into the into the pool and um you didn't listen, you did whatever you liked and in the end you did what you wanted to do, which was swimming, and mama said don't swim. How do you put it right? You say sorry. Yes, you go back and you say, Mom, I'm very sorry for not listening to you. Nay. Mm -hmm. And we do our best to learn from our mistakes, isn't it? Yeah. We do our best to learn from that situation. That next time when mom tells me not to swim because the weather is not good, it's not because mommy doesn't want me to swim, right? Yeah. It's because mommy is looking out for me. That I don't get sick. Then I don't get sick. So the best thing is to do what? To listen to your parents. Yes, the best and thing. And God. Uh-huh. And God. So God was looking out for Adam and Eve, wasn't he? Yeah. He wanted the best for them, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. But the snake lied to them and they believed the snake. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's our devotion for today. Awesome devotion. Always listen to God. And for kids out there, always listen to your parents, like Jonathan said, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the prayer. We're going to pray. There's a prayer in the book at the end of the, each devotion. I'm going to hold your hand and we're going to pray together. You can pray after me. Okay. okay. Dear Father. Dear Father. Please help me to always listen to you. Please help me to always listen to you. Amen. 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 That's the end of our devotion. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time. Bye.